Hi, I'm Victor Tron, the social media volunteer for Parkinson's UK, and we run the Parkinson's UK uh, 2012 research conference. I'm standing here with Dr. Carolyn Wyatt from the School of Psychology, University of Belfast, Northern Ireland, uh, in front of her poster. Uh, she's using a uh, game console-based uh, therapy to, for rehabilitation for Parkinson's patients. Uh, could you tell us more about this research? Of course, Victor. So, essentially, we were interested in doing two things. First of all, seeing if we can use just the regular Nintendo Wii to help people with um, drug-resistant symptoms of Parkinson's, such as balance. And then also we were interested in, well, if that does work, are we better maybe using bespoke balance games, which are more sympathetic to the movement ability of people with Parkinson's? So in the first study, we asked some volunteers, 19 in total, who were all across the spectrum of the whole in yar, so from stage one to stage four, so broad mm -hmm. spectrum. We asked them to play the Nintendo Wii for over a course of eight weeks. And actually, we didn't prescribe that you must play it every day or anything like that. We let them self-select playing behavior to also see if they would actually take to the console. And then we had another group that were coming in to our labs in Queens and playing these bespoke balance games. Um, and these ones, like I say, were more sympathetic to movement capabilities of people with Parkinson's, so they weren't maybe as violent um, as, mm -hmm. as the Nintendo Wii, which really makes you move quite fast. Um, and so we had people playing those, and then we were measuring how these games would affect their balance um, and their mm -hmm. coordination using some balance tests that we designed at Queen's as well. And basically with the balance test, we got the Nintendo Wii balance board and we were able to hook into the signal and feed it through into our computers. And on our computers, we had designed um, balance tests that mirror the Neurocom. So it's like a, a low cost alternative. And basically we're feeding out the kinematic data. So where your center pressure moves. And that gives us a measure of how stable you are and how um, strong your balance is, your underlying balance. And we find that actually by playing both, people had significant improvement in their balance, both their ability to stand in one place and hold it, like on one leg, and also their ability to keep moving quite fast. And as a psychologist, what I also found was really interesting was these, um, these thematic um, types of feedback. So basically we find that people find real boosts in their confidence, in their ability to communicate with other people. The one person actually said to me, oh, I find my voice again, I feel strong in myself again. Um, it increased socialization because obviously you're playing with your grandkids or your partner um, and then even we had some people who were using it as a way of monitoring their own symptoms so for example I had some people who would play set games in the morning and then they would use um, their score to see hopefully how their day would, would progress and actually a lot of people said to us that it was quite reliable so if they got a really good score on that morning they found that they were able um, to predict that they'd have quite a good day so this kind of home monitoring so, as well. Ah, so you can use it as a kind of uh, monitoring device as well. Well, that's what we're thinking. Yeah. I mean, obviously this is kinematic, so it's, it, is, it doesn't lie. It's, it's how your body is moving. So it does give you a real, it gives you a number and it gives you a real measure of how your balance is. So in that sense, it could be used as a, as a monitoring tool as well. Nice. Yeah. Did you use these uh, measurements only on one occasion following the... the the, the training and the, the games? So we had it before anyone began anything, they obviously got measured and then as soon as they finished, yes, they got measured again. It would be great to do a follow-up study where we measure again in say a couple of months or a couple of years time. And do you see have an impression long. how much la how lasting the effect might be? I'm hoping it's quite long lasting. I mean, um, obviously it's like all things that we do need to test it and check. Unfortunately, at the minute we've run out of funding to actually go ahead and carry out something that's more longer term. Um, but we would hope that it would be pretty long lasting. It's more a case of we need to actually measure it and to double check. Very nice. Uh, do you see a potential in maybe developing uh, game console games or uh, well, training regimes specifically tailored for Parkinson's? And do you see a potential for getting funding for that? I definitely do think it's something that should be taken further. I mean, the results here say everything. You know, there's significant results that show significant increases in your actual functional balance, but that was translating into people's everyday life, their ability to go out for a walk, their confidence and everything, and it, it was improving so much that I definitely think it's something we should take further. Um, whether we actually design more bespoke games as we had and make a whole program, 
um, is, an, is another kettle of fish. It's up to whether or not we can work in collaboration with the likes of Nintendo to make these more commercially available. At the minute, we're very much stuck at the stage of we can make it, but we need to work with someone to make them available to everybody. Um, we are trying to get funding to do um, further research on it. One thing we would love to look at is um, how the intensity of the exercise uh, affects your balance outcomes. Um, there's been some literature showing that you really need to get your heart rate up to, sh to really get the benefit from exercise. So that's something that we would be very interested in doing is, is working um, with other types of smart technology like smartphones and accelerometers and heart rate monitors and coming up with a whole package that we could give to someone to put into their home that they could play, they could monitor their levels of activity, they could then measure their balance and they could also send this to maybe clinicians or anyone like that there. So that's something that we're very interested in doing. Okay, thank you very much. Let's go with that.